Hi everybody. I am doing dal makhani today. Uh, it is a yellow, uh, sorry, a black lentil, which is called sabut udat in Hindi. And uh, to that we add uh, beans, the red kidney beans. And it is a delicacy in the north of India, especially in all the Punjabi homes in the north. It is cooked at least once in a week and definitely when you have guests coming over. So for that, uh, I'll show you what the lentil actually looks like. So it looks like this and to this I've added kidney beans, red kidney beans. So I had actually soaked my lentil uh, last night itself and uh, I added some I added uh, about uh, so this is what it looks like now so I added uh, about half a teaspoon of salt to it I will add little more water and put it on the gas but before I do that because the name is makhani so makhani means makhan I will add a good amount of butter to this and so here I have about 100 grams of butter to this I'm adding at least I would say 20, 40 grams of butter and I have taken one dalcini which is cinnamon stick and one clove. I will put it in the pressure cooker for about uh, this won't take much time so I'll just put it on the pressure cooker uh, for about say five minutes. I'll take out the steam and then show it to you what it looks like and then start preparing, uh, preparing the uh, masala for it that will go on it. So I'll see you in about five minutes. Okay, I'll take out the pressure now from the cooker and see what the lentil is looking like. Actually, I can leave it for some time and start preparing for the masala. So I'll switch on the flame and I have a small pot here to which I will now add oil. So about two and a half tablespoons of oil that I've added. Let it heat a little. And to this, I'll add cumin seeds, which is zira in Hindi. add the cumin seeds the oil is nice and hot mix it a little and to this I'll add the onion paste that I had shown you so this is not actually onion paste this is onion puree I've just taken about half a medium size of onion and I have grinded it in my mixer so this is half onion Puree. The flame is on high. We'll cook the onions till the time uh, you see the oil kind of little separated and the uh, water from the onions is evaporated. So we'll not brown the onions or caramelize the onions here. We'll just cook them, uh, the, the onion puree a little here.
kind of done the oil has separated but I'll cook it for half a minute more garlic paste which is about one and a half teaspoon give it a mix I've not added too much of oil in here because uh, this lentil is anyways very very rich loaded with butter and then in the uh, end we add cream as well so just a little oil ginger garlic till the time uh, the raw smell of it just leaves and now I'm adding about one uh, and a half uh, one yeah I mean medium sized tomato which is one medium size two medium sized tomatoes actually to this and I'll start adding the dry powder spices this is coriander powder so one and two two teaspoons then less than half a teaspoon I've added red chili powder and this is paprika powder so one teaspoon again of paprika powder to this Give it a mix and let it cook on high flame. So if you can see the masala is kind of done, the oil has separated, but I'll cook it for another minute or so. The masala is quite well cooked now. The oil has separated if you can see. I will remove it from the pot, keep it aside here and get my lentil. So the pressure has been released from the lentil. I'll, this is what it looks like. So there's butter in it and it's boiled well. So 
it if you can see it has like not smashed as in like it's like not swishy but it's like really cooked well so i just cooked it for five minutes in the pressure cooker because i soaked it last night now to this i'll add the masala that i've just made all of it give it a stir and add a little water to my pot in which i made the masala and add the water to my lentil i will close the lid again and cook it on the pressure for another 4 to 5 minutes on high flame and then I'll open it and show it to you what my dal makhani looks like after giving it another pressure for another five minutes, four to five minutes. Okay, <clears throat> so I've checked the steam now. There's no pressure in the cooker, so I'll open the lid and I'll mix it to see how the lentil is looking. get this a little closer so it should look like this and the lentil should not be mushy so it's nice and good okay now what do we do in the end we add more butter to it so I'll add about another Let's say four tablespoons, no, three tablespoons of butter that I've added more to this to make it more heavy and more creamy. And along with this, I'll add some fresh cream as well. And mix it. Okay, so this is how my dal makhani is looking now. I will dish it out and show it to you and garnish it. Okay, so this is what my dal makhani is looking like now. I'll add some coriander leaves and some julienne's of ginger. So this gives a very nice flavor to it, some fresh ginger julienne's on top of it. And if you want, you can add another uh, half a teaspoon of fresh cream to give it a nice look. So this is what my dal makhani looks like. Okay, so if you like what I've been doing for you every day, this is my recipe for today, dal makhani. If you like what I've done, please click on the like button on my page and share it as much as you can. My channel is Indian Home Cooked Food Scotland. Please subscribe, like it and share it as much as you can. Thank you for watching today. Have a good day. Bye-bye.